And that, and I think we're back. We are on. Good evening. Uh, so tonight we are doing two, two Singapore League games back to back. The first, I think maybe the second, I think it's already been one game played. So the second and third games of the Singapore League that has just kicked off. Um, tonight I am joined by Andy from the Porks. Welcome. Hey guys. And uh, well, someone you should all know of, Taco, who's uh, one of our commentators here on stream. Welcome. Hello, guys. And we are brought to you uh, with me, Nobby, and Odin. Hey. Hello, Odin. Hey. Still there? I am here. You're there. Excellent. Hi. Alrighty. Uh, Redeemed pork. Good. I love it. Love it. Um, before we just kick, kick off, I just to let you know that um, uh, the Porgs are also going to be covering some of these Singapore League games on the Wednesday night. Andy's the one that's going to be running that, I believe. Is that correct, Andy? Yeah, along with uh, Jared. Excellent. Excellent. So you two will be uh, taking off and doing some commentary for the Wednesday nights, um, which is good because yep. that's when I play in real life X-Wing, but I will catch the end of the games. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Um, uh, do you have any uh, smack talk for, for Jared uh, and Taco over there? No, no. Just good game. <laughs> they were very nice, you know. We we're like, you know, just have fun, you know. The, the smackiest yeah. of talk. Oh, what, the yeah. smackiest. <laughs> I, I, I mean, this is terrible, guys. This is terrible. Like, I mean, like if we had just an exhibition match, I kind of, you know, okay. But this, this is for league points. This is, you know, this is for, this is for prizes and everything. You just have a good match. Come on. All right, I will crush you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He, All he's right. keeping on the Australian tradition of just being chill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, just before we go, I just want to clarify who has uh, who has initiative here. Is that the rebels? Me, Andy. I took it. No. You took it. I took it. Taco. Yeah, Taco took it. Taco, because there's no overlapping initiative. Okay. Fair enough. Um, and I don't think we're good to go. All right, um, guys. Well, look, I wish you best of luck. We will pull you in after the uh, the match. Um, now we've got all the uh, the bugs out of the way, we can actually get going for it. So I wish you both good luck. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna have, probably have to cheer for the rebels, you know, rebel scum. Yeah, I, I, I think I am too. I want the ghost to win. Oh, uh, yeah. sorry, Taco. Sorry. Uh, Taco. Yeah. <laughs> oh well, no worries. Uh, all right, guys. All right. Good luck to you. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Uh, and it's just okay. me now, Adam. Yeah. Which oh. list do you want to cover, Mr. Nobby? Oh, uh, I'm. Oh uh, well. Let's have a quick look. You know, I, I, I'll let you do Rebels. I'll let you do Rebels then. And I'm going to actually... So just after you on First Order. You... <laughs> you... Okay. Um, um, so on on the Rebels side, we have Paul Gavander uh, with Dorsal Turret and Proton Torps. Um, I can hear them. They're having some audio issues. We have Jake Farrell completely and utterly naked. We have Alexander Callis with Leia and Ghost, and Zeb Aurelius with Phantom being docked on the back of that Ghost shuttle. So, fairly fun. Fairly fun. Um, I just as... The cards. Sorry, I was just going to say, I didn't bring up the cards because Alex is playing up yeah. in the overload. We've had to do a walk away. There's no delayed fuse on that Ghost, by the way. Uh, no fuse. Yeah, you can actually bump the points up. Um, Alex told me. Uh, sorry, Andy told me. Ah. So you can actually delete delayed fuses and just bump the um, ghost's cost up by one point and it should line up. Right. Okay, uh, can we get them to start, Mr. Nobby? Are they... Uh, you can. You, you can. They're, they're good to start. While they're going very first, we will go, um, we'll go over the FO list, who has got my Major Von Rag with Daredevil. Uh, Kylo with advanced optics and advanced proton torpedoes, and then just a generic TIE silencer. Uh, initiative one, going to be act as a blocker. Okay, and because this is league and everything like that, we should get we should get bets underway. What do you think? Yeah, uh, let's do that. Sorry, I'm just trying to help them out with their audio issues. Um, oh, we didn't actually pair the bets from last one. Ooh. Whoopsie, we'll go back and we'll fix that up now. So, who do you think? So, you, who do you, who do you like? Um, I was going to say, you were cheering for Rebels as well. Yeah. I'm cheering for FO. I also noticed my camera's a little bit lighter, but we can fix it up a little bit down the track. 
Um, so we've got yeah, three fours and a two versus two sixes and one. So he just he just kept the um the tight silencer back. Um, did did you not pay out the bets from last last bet? No, I didn't. I didn't. That's what I said. I didn't. I didn't. I'm sorry. I mean, it was, it was Madame Jig. She she won. We knew she was going to win. Yeah. We did not make it. Naughty, naughty. But it's okay. We'll, we'll remember this time. All right. Uh, let's see we go. I there think go. I think that deserves some um, points given out. I. You think you think points? Yeah. I think we can do points. I think we can do points. There you go. There you go. And then you can use that to bet. Okay. Um, what do you think of this rock deployment, Mr. Nobby? Well, okay. Ghost... Hey, I just also noticed he's got a KOPR on top of his ghost, by the way. Just just, just in case you didn't notice. Yes. And also, I'm going to... Sorry, guys. I'm actually going to have to change colour. That, uh, for anyone who is wondering, KOPR is Knights of the Pork Republic. Yes, I was just going to say, yeah, that's, uh, that's uh, Andy's squad, I'm loving it. Um, and they're going to be doing, as I say, they're going to be doing the, their streams uh, to help out with this tomorrow night. Hopefully I can do a good job. So um, uh, uh, I'm a little bit, little bit lost because I was running late with the overlay. We had problems with the overlay and we got that sorted out. And now I noticed my camera's going to dark, so we're going to have to fix it up on the fly. That's okay. Back to the game at hand. Um, I th I think it's going to be a really big question of can um, Tarko leverage his tie silencer to bump and keep that ghost back. Um, he does have he does have Jake, um, and he also has Zeb. Zeb is currently docked in into. Um, yeah. Uh, now the thing is, it doesn't necessarily matter if he blocks with that initiative one tie silencer. While the um, Sheathpede is docked, um, before the ghost actually activates, it will perform a coordinate action. So it's it always well, gets a free coordinate. It it does, but that means it, 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 the ghost does not have an action. He will probably coordinate to Dutch, which in Dutch would then hopefully get a you know focus or target lock, or even Jake to do a barrel roll. Yeah, um, he had... Jake, Jake gets a barrel roll, Alex gets a um, focus. focus, it's a win-win. Yep, yeah. Lots of synergy in this in this list. I used to, well, I used to love, um, I used to love Rebels. Rebels was my, uh, my starting, my starting faction. Before, you know, the ERZ 2 A-Wings dominated my, my gameplay. My, I, I started and I will, I will, I started with Scum and I will die with Scum. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, as my friend Sam will tell you, because um, he's the one who got me into X-Wing, de definitely started with Scum. Definitely never going to leave it. <laughs> yeah, no, Scum, now, scum is good. I mean, I, I actually, I, when 2 point came around, I played around with Scum at the start. But I settled on Rebels. I played, I, I, I couldn't decide which faction to go when 2.0 came. And I was literally bouncing between Rebels and Scum. So I get, I get it, I get it. You should, should have just stuck with Scum, the superior faction. That's where I disagree with you. Disagree <laughs> with you on that, yeah. Yeah, Rebels right. Resist it. Resistance are the new Scum. Was it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Um, so, Mr. Nobby, who, which list do you think has the advantage coming into this blind? Looking at the deployment, not necessarily where the engagement's going to happen. Okay. Uh, first thing I worry about is Taco. Itako has uh, four and uh, what's that? Four, eight, ten. He has fifteen hit points total yeah. across his three ships. Fifteen the, hit the, points. The ghost has four hit points on one ship. Sorry, that's fourteen right. and, hit and, points. Yeah, the, and the ghost has fourteen hit points. That's, that's, that's that was what I'm leading to. <laughs> so, um, if Taco does not leverage, and also I just realised my time hasn't started. What's the time? Uh, it is five minutes have passed, so it is one hour and ten minutes. One hour and ten minutes, there we go. Right. Uh, doing this really, really professionally here this time. Yeah, sorry. We, so we had to re quickly redo the overlay at the very last minute. And he flipped, he flipped, Taco flipped his fo focus tokens. His force tokens. You might want to go back and fix it up. Um, yeah, there we go, he got it. Um, so, yeah. Just that, that means he really has to leverage um, making sure that his ships aren't getting shot 
because he literally has one hit point more than one of his than one of uh, Andy's ships. Yeah. Uh, on on the flip side, Andy does have uh, what is it? 19, 23, 28, no, 20, 31 hit points. So, yeah. It's a rebel however, of, of sorts. Yeah, it, it is hidden behind only six six green dice, though, so. Th it is, there is, it is. But, there's, but, the, um, but this is where you, you look at also how many red dice um, Taco can throw. Yeah, so that's nice. Several several turns to um to fix up to i should say not to fix up but to um to put through the damage he needs to mm -hmm. to take out the ghost um unless of course well, he does have the advanced proton torch so if he gets a nice good crit and it could could go in his favor uh, so looking at chat we have had mo the most points bet on uh andy with four thousand points bet on taco Well, so. I've been on Taco. I've been on Taco. I, I know. Yeah, you know, maybe maybe it's because the underdog. Maybe you know. I, I mean, you, you've got to love good pork. Oh, there we go. Fix up the camera. Hopefully that that looks better. You know, you guys don't want to see my ugly mug anyway. What are you talking about? Yeah. I, I mean, we we will see what happens. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, so. In, in any other news, um, let's just sprue the Porgs a little bit. Miss Nobby, when and where can we find the Porgs um, streaming Singapore League games tomorrow? When? What time? Yes. Well, what time quickly... and where? I mean, quickly. Um, I will throw a link league. up, but yeah, I will... Just quickly there. That's the time there. It's at 9 o'clock. Uh, 9 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, 10 p.m. if you're in New South Wales, or 7 p.m. If you are on Singapore time, switching back to the game there, the Pog Republic, which I do not have it off, I do not know it yep, off the top I'm of my head. I'm currently trying to find that one. Yeah. There we go. Let's while while they're offline, let's give them a follow, and I encourage everyone who is interested to do that as well. So we're we're having um, Taco doing. Taco is a very very slow and methodical player. Um, for anyone who's watching, he's not slow playing. He he definitely loves thinking through all of his turns and going through almost every option. Mm. Um, he's also keep in mind too, as I say, he does have only three ships. Yes. And he has literally, as we said, 15 hit points. So he, and, and Andy has those proton torps. So we basically has two full dice attacks. He can literally remove half the hit points of his ships in one turn. Yeah. No, no, I, I know. I, I was just going, um, just defending Taco preemptively. So, and we are seeing the dreaded rebel efficiency of just Dutch take a lock, Callus takes a lock, even though he is outside of range three. Um, next, we'll probably see Jake take a barrel roll boost, giving a focus to both ships. <laughs> um, just showing, yeah, how how deadly and efficient the rebels can actually be. Oh, definitely. This is a list you don't really want to just. Oh god, no. Yeah. So uh, when we talk about, uh, there are some lists that are just uh, really good at jousting, and there's, um, of course, whether this will be a good jousting list versus some other jousting lists, it's really hard to say, until you start looking at numbers of dice and things like that, and who has a block or not. But um, Taco's list is definitely not a jousting list, so he does not want to be caught or any any shots realistically every turn he's trying to avoid shots now the other thing to note is that um alex does not have a turret so his his big scary gun is at front turret so everything pointing forward he just trying not to be there pretty much now what's taco's path to victory here 
where where does he want to approach how how does he want to apl- approach this matchup to maximize his chances of winning okay well he has got to get um well firstly the the ghost doesn't move very well it's a big base ship um unfortunately there's no rocks in here which is fine which is fine he just he wants to draw the ghost in amongst the rocks um, uh, well, I should say, when I say rocks, I mean debris and gas clouds. He wants to draw him in there and then force him to start doing 5Ks or t- or doing, you know, just the turns to try and get a shot on something where he brings the other two ships in to shoot. So he's going to kind of basically put something out there to as bait. Whether it be Kylo out here, he's probably going to barrel roll out. He's not going to take the shot. Or he's he going to barrel roll barrel. in and boost. He so needs think- to barrel roll out, I think. Um, I think I think barrel roll out is is the best way to do it there. Yeah. Definitely can't stay where he is. Yeah. It's a question if he wants to barrel roll in and boost in, and that gives him actually, which is not actually a bad option because he then at best is going to just take a two dice attack from. Two uh, dice attack uh, from both Dutch and I was going to say, was going to say Dutch, but it's he, his name's Porg, Porg Vendor. Yeah. You told me to rename no, him, he, so. <laughs> yeah, he, he but he's going to take a two dice attack from both. Uh from uh, the A wing as well. Yeah, that's yeah. And when it's two guns on, you know, one, when you've got such little hull, that's not what you want to take. Absolutely. Um, especially when, um, you know. That that ghost, while it is big and clunky, it has a really effective lane of travel where it is. Yeah, it's more of it just it has such a big threat. Yeah. Four four dice. I mean, it doesn't have the saw, so it's it's not as scary as a uh, saw. This with... is hyperspace, so I don't believe that right. saw is legal. No, no, thank God. But. He does. A, he is able to get double mods with the target lock and focus, even yeah. even if he bumps. That's the scary thing is you can you can nail the bump. But what you really want to do is you want to nail the bump in such a way that you're going to cause Dutch to bump as well. And so I think he's going to do on that yellow silence. He's going to do a two turn and maybe barrel out and just be ready to do a five straight dive in. Um, but again, he, even even if he does cause Dutch to bump because they're both initiative four. Uh because they're all initiative four. Um yeah. he just he lets Callus he just lets Callus bump, gets the coordinate before that, and Dutch gets a target lock and passes the target lock over to um Callus or Jake yeah, but... and or he coordinates to Jake and The thing Jake... is if, if the ship is bumping he's not shooting. So, yeah, but he's not shooting that ship. He still may get other shots. Yeah. But I just I think they'll be somewhat limited, you know, if he also bumping that means he's up, up close, which means there's no proton torps. If he yeah. can get the the tie silencer to bump the ghost and then only have a range one shot from Dutch um coming in, then that's that's a winning win scenario. Because it's just three you know, even though he's got Jake in there that can pass a focus and all that too. Um that's that's his um, ideal engagement get a bump on the ghost and just take a range one shot from Dutch yeah. and hopefully be able to shoot range one back at Dutch along with Kylo as well you know because I think you want I think his easiest target is to catch the the, the wiring and and remove Dutch from the game because yeah. that free target lock really makes things nasty yeah he's he, I think his target priority is Dutch Jake then the ghost I wouldn't. I would leave Jake to last. It just, it's too too. Unless you have a, a catch a bump on Jake, his his he he is a support ship, but um, he's also one that just requires so much effort to to remove from the board. But he also could three just take one one lucky shot. We we all know how four whole ships just die. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, on the flip side, Andy. Um, what's his target priority? Where does he want to go to maximize his chances of winning? He wants to get one of those ships off the board. He wants to have it okay. three slash four ships versus well, that, two. That that's just playing the game. How does he get yeah. to that? Well, no. Well, he's got to, He's going to have to decide on one of these um, on one of these aces and commit to it. 
Now, I do like this from Taco. Taco is like, hey, I'm gonna, it looks like I'm gonna come in at you, but no, I'm just flying him away. So now, if this is like a 50 50, if Andy called, uh, like, uh, says, I'm not gonna ignore that, that one and go for one of the other ships, then he's gonna be in a good spot. But if he did actually turn into assuming where the, um, the TIE silence was gonna be, he's then gonna be leaving his, exposing his um, backside to Kylo. So I, mean, I, I would love to see him just take a full straight. Hmm. Um, just go, look, Kylo's going to come around behind me, but he's not probably not going to be quick enough to catch me this turn. Okay, so that was actually before you activate um, a coordinate yep. to Jake. You did a barrel roll. Hey, look at this. Whoa. A force I would have preferred to see the force straight um, and just force, force the issue. That's very nice. This is fast enough away to get away from Kylo if Kylo tries to turn in. And um, there's a reinforce. Yep. Yeah, Kylo is stressed, so he can't... He has to do a blue maneuver if he wants to get that double reposition. So he's kind of locked into the too hard. Yes, but my, my point is that even no matter what he was going to do, Kylo only had a certain amount of arc that he could get. Um, yeah. And so by going full straight, he's able to completely avoid Kylo, for at least this turn. No, no. Well, that was a three straight, not the four straight. But yes, yeah, same straight. principle. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah. I, as I said, I would have loved to see him go that little bit faster just to make it easier to potentially catch that initiative one. And then he's got hardly any issues getting blocked. Oh, Kylo, so here, this is, this is Taco being really, really, really cagey. Yeah. I think he was worried that the ghost was going to turn in, into him. Now, this does, I, this does mean Kylo's going to have a lot of options next turn. Hmm. I mean, maybe. It depends on his final position. Because he still has a double reposition here, so... Yeah, but I don't know. I would have been. I would, I would have been happy to stay there and just say, give yourself an option to do a hard one. Um, um I, I, I honestly would have preferred the boost. Get, get back to the ninety degree angle, and that hard one then lets you come well, up and parallel, or you if, can if, still bail out and get around. If you had still had that angle, you could have done a hard one, and then if. If um, what you call it? If the ghost had decided to two two turn in, you would have been far enough back that you could have barrel rolled to the right, and you would have been out of arc. At least I think, um, yeah. just by doing a hard one, and then then you, that's what I'm saying. If, if, if barrel rolling there, now if he does a hard one, he barrel rolls to the right. He's still going to be too close. He's still going to take shots. Um, whereas if he was back at the board edge and did the hard one, he could have. It would have been basically um, right at the edge of the arc, and he would have been able to decide whether or not to take the shots. And, and if it, if the ghost didn't turn in, um, then he would have been able to commit by you know boosting in or something like that. So, take taking a step back from the game for a second, I noticed that we've got sixteen people in chat. Um, how is everyone? Is everyone been playing X Wing? Um, just while we've got a moment, down moment on stream, anyone flying anything interesting? Let us know and um, yeah, have a chat to us. Also, now, we, should also, we should also point out that this is for the Singapore League, and the Singapore League does have a little bit of a uh, list restriction. It is hyperspace, which is fine, but there is also a four chassis limit. So this means no 5A wings, yes, no 5A wings, no photo, um, no 6 nan -tex. It's a limit. Hang, hang, on, hang on, hang on. You mean that Shane actually listened to my suggestion and tried to and banned your 5A wing list? Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I'm I fine. just, I'm, fine I, I'm, I'm, I'm really fine impressed. Yeah. I'm at least, at least for the the first stage. Like, apparently, there's there may be different list building requirements per pod, um, or per per round. So we had 35 people register for this event, and they're broken up into seven pods. I think it was, with five players each, and we each have a month to play each other in the pod. And then you get split up and shuffled back in. So 
we, we have Shane responding to the call out to chat with just a simple yes. yes. Um, l- love you, Shane, but god damn it. Wait, wait, what's wrong with five A-rings? Yeah. No, he... uh, as CMT raised, yeah, with the, the, the spam takes points. Let's hope, let's hope come next month they, they actually have a fix for it. Um, it is, I think, just, I think just pure and simple, it is a mistake. Uh, the amount of points they dropped, it was just too great. But again, I don't think we haven't. They have enough evidence to go off on that yet. I, I don't think they can do a big points increase. No, I think well they dropped it by eight points. So I mean they they they've gone up and down on points. I mean, I look at Lulu. They they raised Lulu what five points, and then you see it suddenly disappear from play. So by yeah. by all means they should have gone dropped back a point or two just to get Lulu back on the table, but they didn't. Mm, I, I feel like Lulu should have gone up another five points, honestly. Stop it. That's your, your biased showing, okay? No, not bias. I know my bias. Uh, I, I just well, feel my, like the my... A-Wings are too cheap. Yeah, or at well, least, um, what do you call it? It's too cheap. Uh... Lulu? No, no. The Heroic's too cheap. I, I would also settle for Heroic going up to three points. Oh, stop it. <laughs> All right, but no. So no, no shots this turn. Taco really I, I just, mean, just um. We we are time. twenty twenty minutes into this game. Um, one shot has been fired, I believe. Right. When when was the shot fired? Uh, I could be mistaken. Yeah, I, I'm sorry. Just, one one target taken. lock has been taken. <laughs> that that is the most violence taken, we've got. Yes, I'll, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Yeah. See, I used to argue that Lulu was more expensive than Duchess. It was the same kind of ship, and now, now their last point change, they increased points to Duchess, so it's kind of okay. Yeah, I, as I said, I, I just, I just want um, heroic up to three points, and the A wings priced I, up a little I, bit more. I would, uh, hero- yeah, but three points is insane, man. Two no. points, two points is kind of where it is. But the reason <laughs> I say it's the reason why I say it's two points is still also a little bit expensive. We don't have much access to force. Yeah, but neither does scum. Guess what well, you do have in your most important ship. You've got Maul. Yeah, but Maul is super expensive. And it's basically our only access to force. Yeah, but you've got Maul. Yeah, you have Leia. On, on your main <laughs> ship, too. On, on the Fire Spray. You yeah, I, 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 I know, but... The fire Take spray is also a super expensive chassis, and, and, and you're fearless, and you're fearless with your, your fang yeah, but... just so good, oh, so good. So no, no, you don't, yeah. get to, you don't get to complain about heroic. Sorry, no, no, no. I, I'm not, I'm complaining about heroic. I'm not complaining about anything else. Yeah. All right, two bank in here with the Dutch. Now I think we're still slightly out of range for Targa Lock. Did he turn the turret? Yeah. It just it fit. Oh, it just fit. Yep, it fit. Bring that top down. So, what I would have loved to see from um, Andy here is just the two bank, two to three bank, and just going, hey, I'm just going to start shooting your silencer. That is still unobstructed. Ooh. Oh, you might, yeah, you might get, you might get a shot now. Yeah, no, that's that's a shot. That's range three, I think, though. The, the good thing is he's going to have a five k option next turn. Yeah. And Jake's probably going to barrel. Uh... Yeah. Barrel out. But he's only going to be able to take a focus himself. Yeah, but I think he's hoping to try to get the boost. Mm. It uh, boost won't fit. At least the boost bank won't fit. It was attempting it just in case. He's trying it, and it yeah. failed. Yeah, no, no, it failed. Okay, so that's why he put down. He put down the stress there because he attempted the boost and failed. 
Then Kylo do a one hard. Ah, uh, away. Yeah. Just doing a boost out there, yeah. Um, he's really it, taking his time out there with Kylo. It looks like he's just um, sacrificing, potentially sacrificing this initiative one ship. Oh, oh and the bump. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not complete sacrifice because keep in mind that ghost does not have mods on attack. He's just rolling four natural hits. Sorry, four natural d red dice, which means expectancy of two versus three green ship with focus. Yeah. So it's 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 not exactly sacrifice, but he's now in a position where he can't four green dice because it's out of range three. He's now yeah. in a position where he can't but, bring in those aces back into engage. That's that's a scary yeah. part. How, how um, many times is it going to be before those aces get back into the fight? There you go, three hits. That was a good roll of average. Three paint. That's to spend the focus. Yeah, that's right. Spend the focus. But no, like, the issue is, though, as you said, we'll probably see the 5k here. Is it a 5k or is it a 4k? Oh, that's, that's a uh, 4k. It's 4k. Yeah. I'm just saying, well, it will fit. Now, good thing is, he doesn't have the focus to modify dice, so... No. Uh, Alex does not get the extra green, the free green dice. His ability uh, is that when when the attacker modifies the dice, he gets to roll. There we go, and that's the damage. That's one damage. Either way. Yeah. It's two hits, so that would be reinforced, take in, and lose a shield. Didn't matter what he rolled. No. Damage. Congratulations. Um, but at the same time, we have Leia this turn. Um. We have Jake and Dutch potentially covering the escape option for this um, Initiative 1 ship. Mm, I almost think that, now, yellow, that Yellow Silence is just going to two-turn to the left and swing around. Well, the, the, right. this, is, this is the dangerous part. If he attempts the 4K and it's blocked right at the edge of that 4K. Well, then if that's the case, he can just not... Pop light. Oh, well, no, he has to pop light at the start of the turn, doesn't he? But the thing is, even ghost, if he doesn't, it, the ghost it, isn't it, stressed. Yes, but uh, it's... Which, if he pops layer and he fails a full K, the ghost ends up not stressed. No, if he doesn't pop. If he doesn't. But pop how light, close is it to the edge? Is what I'm getting at. If he gets it right on that edge of that 4K. Yeah, no. As long as he's got, he'll be able to do a one heart. One heart should get him out. If the 4K doesn't fit, uh, he maybe. should be able to fit a one. He should be able to fit a one heart afterwards. That's that. No, no. I don't think. I don't think he'll be. I, I don't think he'll commit to blocking the 4K. Do the ghosts have one heart? Yes, yeah. they do. Yeah, the ghosts have a one heart. But yeah, as as I said, I'm I'm just saying that that would be close. Mm. It's because. I also think if he does a 4K now, to even if he doesn't get blocked, he's going to basically just go up the board then to try and catch those um, uh, the silencer, the two interceptors, mm. Von Reg and Kylo, because they're going to be fast and he's he's going to probably want to try and catch that um, tie silencer. Just a question: of What what do you do if you're Taco? Do you go to block the 4K and then if you miss and you fail and he does a one straight or something, you're going to need a proton torp and the five dice gun. Well, I mean, the thing is, Andy will probably want to stop this engine, cover the engineer's escape. So yeah, I, I'm half expecting the Y wing and the A wing to turn off and cover the uh, Thai Silence's left hand escape route, mm. and Callus is just going to try to block the right hand escape route. Either way, that. Um, Silencer is in trouble if he does that. There's no hope of getting bailed out by either of the other aces. Well, no, the the other aces are they're off there, and if if Andy commits to going for the the um, initiative one tie silencer, um, 
he could he could hurt it. But I don't think he'll k kill it unless unless he picks which way he's going to go correctly and puts all guns on there. Um, the thing is, there's, there's enough options there for Taco to decide which way he wants to go with it. Um, I personally like the idea of just doing it too too hard to the left and getting him behind the gas cloud. Um, but then you see Andy can go, hey, that's the gas cloud. That doesn't matter. I'm just going to go over it anyway. Here we go. Too hard. As tempting as that blocking up 4K is, and quite boost, yeah. As, as tempting as it is, I think. Uh, did the Y Wing do a. Did the Y Wing do it too hard and predict that? Now, he's activating uh, Kalos and then giving a coordinate. Looks like yep, he gave him a coordinate to a focus. Now, if that, if that Wyoming did something like a two-turn, he yeah. was only going to eat a range one shot with the primary. He's moving the target lock over. Now, he did, he did do a one Probably going to take a target is, lock. Yeah, so this is where he is able to actually catch him with the, um, the proton torp, I think. It's out of arc. I think he needs to do a barrel roll to get it in arc. Yeah, okay, now that's better. Okay, yeah. He had a very dark dark skin on the um on the thing and it was really hard to see the, the um the um what we call it? The lines. So now it looks like he, he is in there. It could be actually range one. He'll have a shot. Can't fire, he can't fire the proton tops if he does a barrel roll. The lock is not on that silencer. So just rotating that turret. Okay. You think you think the front arc is out? You think yeah. the toss lines is out of the front arc? Yeah, easily. Easily. I'm gonna have to come I'm gonna go swap, swap down top down there because Whoops. Sweet blocking that's... blocking it with the focus token. Well, that's a nice shot there from Jake. Yeah. Oh, it might it's just looks, be in. It still looks look from top down there. It looks like it's in for me. Um. I'll hear the I'll so, hear the cursing if it is. <laughs> yeah, because I think he could have taken a target lock then, rather than to rotate yeah. the turret. Target lock. Give the target lock to Jake, and then everyone's got a target lock on that engineer. Well, that engineer is also stressed, so he can't do a K-turn and get around. Yeah, but he wouldn't be doing a K-turn anyway, even if he, he wasn't stressed. Um, choose well, violence. What, yeah, choose violence. And also the fact is you want to have a mod with that three greens, because right now it's a little bit scary, because Jake could do a Freya range one shot, and if he had the lock, uh, he could have then followed up with a proton torp against a shieldless, possibly shieldless, possibly modelless, uh, green dice, and that's that was also just just point out that was a very close move there by uh, Taco with Kylo, just missing that gas cloud. We'll see if this barrel fits. Yeah, he's doing a uh, deplete. Yep, yeah, Daredevil. Oh, Daredevil. Yep, yeah, very close. Jesus, really, really, really flying close there. Yeah. That was very nice flying there by uh, Taco. Now, you've got to remember, that ghost does have a rear arc. It does. It does. But look at this beautiful, just, uh, just a range three pot shot here. He's out of range with the ghost. Gonna be a three on two. Two hits. And two. Ooh, is he gonna spend the focus? 
Yeah, I think you spend it. You're not firing proton torps this turn. Yeah, if you, it's if the you, only if you shot that's to... coming in, I think. Yeah, taking yeah. a target lock. Yeah. So, that's actually very good for the silence on. So more less chance is going to be half pointed. The thing is, silence. Believe it or not, this is actually still a good game state for Taco. Um, even though he's got the two two shots coming in at him now. See, there you go. I was right. Range two, in arc. I told you he had it. Um, he could yeah. have taken a target lock instead of rotating the turret. Um, and he also, if he did take the target lock, then he would have been able to pass that on to Jake. Yeah. So a slight misplay. I think he could have done a better 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 action choice there. Um, I mean, he's in game. If you're not on. sure, you're better off taking the shot than not. Yeah. Um. That that's what it boils down Just to. Away. Guns on target. Is, time with guns on target is always better than time without guns on target. Yeah. So now we're here with the Jake. He's got the range one, three dice. Oh, three paint. Is he spending the focus? Yes, he should. No reason not to. He just loses his shield. Takes one damage. So we've got damage on the other side of the board now. One shield for one shield. That's where we, we are. We are what? Uh, 30, 40 minutes? Almost nearly 40. 40 minutes in? Yeah, almost 40 minutes in. Yeah. Um, and we've had a shield on each side. But uh, the thing is, what I was saying is, like, Taco is actually in a good spot. He's now managed to pull all the rebel forces into that corner. So, short of Dutch doing a 4K over the gas cloud, um, Dutch is not going to get a top off this turn. Yeah, I don't think Dutch is going to get a top off anyway. You've got to remember he's got his target lock on Kylo. I, I, I don't... Is, yeah. yeah, I don't think there is any sequence of moves that will... Um, actually, no... Dutch can get a target lock off of this turn. Um, yes, because what Leia he needs. And, and no, no, coordinate. not even Leia. Not even Leia. Coordinate the target point. lock and then do a too hard into a potential barrel roll. May get you in on the Sejamus Engineer. Yep. Depending on what um, Taco's done. Question is how. Cl the ooh, will the four K fit on the ghost? No, I don't think it will. I think no, I think we'll just do a turn. No. I think I think we'll just do a turn. Yeah. The the other it's thing throwing... that you could do is burn layer. Do that barrel roll on Dutch and then take the four K to get to avoid that gas cloud. Yeah. No, I think I think it's I think it's a waste in this turn. I think yeah. I don't think he'll if he'll four K or just do no no I don't think he'll four K it just it's... I mean it's just an option yeah. that I don't think a lot of people would have thought about with this particular list. Dutch can barrel roll before he does a four K. That four K is usually red. It can be white. So it's an unusual situation for a Y wing to be able to barrel roll into a four K. Yeah. I mean, I could see that. I could see the, the the thing. I just think if he if the Dutch does a four K, he then the ghost also is going to be uh, blocked from uh, doing a turn. And just just for clarification, he did not pop player, so there's no there's yeah. no four K going. Okay, I mean whether I, I, I lie, they yeah, say they could still four K. Yeah, no, I, I was actually thinking it was going to barrel roll to ship left and take the position of where Callus is now, just facing the other way. Oh, we'll see. Then he's got the, he's got I, the I don't. I don't. It's not going to happen because he is not has not popped layer. Mm, that's great. But it, I mean, as I said, well, it's no. just an interesting Mechanic. thought process to go through. Mm. So is that's the coordinate there. While he's got seven shuttle, is all coordinating look like a barrel roll? Why? Why a barrel roll? Just to give their focus to Dutch, probably. Yep, there we go. 
I'm just trying to think think of what move that A wing is now going to do though. Hard one. Hard one to the right. And now we just turn, two turn. Yep, one hard to the right, and just boost, get a focus, and get a free shot. The question is, does Taco now, being in the situation that uh, Andy was in, he has a headed all his ships towards the corner. So that Thai silencer was, was the, the goal of Thai silencer, was to draw those ships and put them in, commit, get him to commit to something. Now he did commit to, the, to that Thai silencer, so even though he lost his shield there, he did do work. I think he's going to be out of range. Only only Jake is going to be able to have a shot. It's a two dice yeah. attack, even even with with two hits. I I, I think Taco was too far out of position, though. I think to fully capitalize on it. Oh, I agree. I agree. He, and this this one's a little sad. Oh no! I don't know what he was thinking, but hey, you'll get a shot. I'll take a stress. Yeah. Don't roll a crit. Don't roll a crit. Come on. He rolled a crit. The a crit. the debris field has caused as much damage as both our players. I know. That was a little bit of a misplay. That's what I mean. Taco was too far out of position to capitalize on Andy committing. Um, he needed to try to capitalize that little bit earlier. I did get a lock. And he took, it looks like he took a strain to get the target lock and then takes a focus as a regular action. He'll get another, he'll get another shot off at, um, at poor Vander. It's going to be three on two. But hey, who needs double mods? Who needs double mods when you just run at him? In natty, oh, natty, natty on natty, natty on natty. So shield down there on uh, on the pork. Carlo is going to also have a shot. Now it is important to note, Kylo is going to be stressed again next turn. He's going back over that debris field. Ooh. That's actually that's 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 actually quite scary. Yeah. He got a force. Yeah, there we go. Just touch to it again. Well, that's going to be shield and the damage. So we are literally one 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 point away now from 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 scoring points. I think he's going to be out of range for the torrent and out of arc at the front. Yeah, so no shots there from Dutch. Sorry, Pork. I'm going to keep remind, reminding me that it is it is Pork Fender. Okay. Now we've got yeah. a double modded two dice attack. Yeah. It is the most accurate shot in history. So when you have double mods, you just roll now he hits crits. That's how, that's how this game works. Yeah. Oh, let's spend the focus. No, no damage, yeah. But now, as we said, Kylo is going over that debris field, so he's not double repositioning next turn. Yeah, that's 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 very sad, Kylo. Um, I wonder if Taco's noticed that. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, sure. He sure would know. I'm sure he's sending himself. He probably just misju misjudged that. He could have. The thing is, he could have just done a straight, uh, a two straight. Or maybe maybe it was a misdial. Maybe it was meant to be a three turn because a three turn would have put him okay. Um, he could have done a three. Could have done a straight move and then then focus boosted around that debris field, or he could have um. Yeah, or it could have just been planned for a turn. Three bank is really really awkward, but hey, we always make mistakes. It's fine. This happens. The important thing is not to let it tilt you. 
Unless you mate, because I will teammate. Yeah. yeah, no, but you are very easily tiltable. Yeah. Um, all, you need to do, all you need to do is mention that a heroic should go up to three points, and that gets me going. Yeah, I've noticed. That's why I keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> do you, let me ask you this question. Do you like seeing the raccoons in there? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. So you should behave then. You've got to behave. Okay? <laughs> Otherwise, I'll stop them. I'll disable them all. <laughs> hey, I, I've, I've had almost um, 13 weeks of raccoons. If they disappear now, I think I can survive. Come on. Come on, Andy. It's been, it's, it, even though we haven't seen much um, much dice thrown and much shots, it's been a nice, very bit of a mental game, uh, especially with Taka going in and just really taking his time. I will say that. Yeah, and the, this is how Taco plays. He's a very slow and, like, I hate to use the word slow because it makes people think of slow playing. But he is a very methodical player, and he likes to take the time to think through moves. Well, so um, I, don't, I mean, I don't think he's necessarily slow playing. He's, no, it's more that he's no, also no, been slow I, in engaging. What I'm saying the, is, like, he has not committed till like, the fifth or sixth turn. He has waited yeah. till Andy has committed. Before no, no, the, committed but that's, that's what I'm saying. I'm not accusing him of slow playing. I'm just saying that he this is the pace of play that he enjoys he is he likes to think of all of the moves it, it reminds me of a chess player who's just carefully ponder, pondering everything well that's um, that's that's just takes time for a decision i think it's more that yeah. the way he's playing is that oh, he's, the, he's not committing until the opponent has it's something yeah, I very understand, which is almost that almost as like well requirement for when you play an ace is um you don't want to be doing trades you want to be getting your free shots without being shot at yeah um you you know me I, i'm going back to hype races so <laughs> uh, <laughs> that that is the mantra this this is this is this i just shake my head i don't know if you can see it but i'm i'm no but look if people don't like playing a wing but nobody nobody likes playing against bloody excuse me Excuse my French when I say bloody. Um, uh, advanced Sensiguri, okay? Nobody it, likes that. It's, it's only it's, two ships. It's two ships. Headache inducing. You know, <laughs> it, 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 it's mentally fatiguing to play against Advanced Sensiguri. Hey, it's, it's mentally fatiguing to play Advanced Sensiguri. If I have to mm. suffer through it, so does everyone else. <laughs> oh, that, but, but this is actually why I disagree with you. It's easier to play Guri than it is to play against Guri because. Um, you as no, no no let me let me finish. You as a pilot know where she's going, or you know where you want her to go. The opponent has so many options to consider that they don't know where they're going. So that's why, that's why the opponents don't like men. Sense of I, I, I now, agree and I disagree. Honestly, um, ju jumping into that a little bit further while everyone's drawing on the map. Yeah. Uh, I'm not too sure what the question is. Um, I think they're just making a note of how sad yeah. it is. No, um, my, my biggest thing with Guri is... Piloting her takes a lot of effort and a lot of mental acuity. Um, not just because... She, like yes she has so many positions but that the opponent wants to do but you've got to make sure that you're accounting for every every possibility your opponent can do so that you choose the right move and you've got all the advanced senses outs um th those barrel rolls okay. are so so dangerous all right just quickly there um, we that's had, why i love uh... the ship i just i love the bendy barrel rolls Yep. Just just quickly, uh, we had Dutch pay take a target lock, pass it on to Jake. Jake down a turn in has yep. boosted, which has also in turn passed a focus to Dutch. Yeah. Uh, or one of themselves, and one of them, uh, yeah. And Dutch just, yeah, Dutch took the target lock. Yeah. And then there's a coordinate. We're gonna see a barrel roll. Barrel roll. Barrel roll. Barrel roll. <laughs> I'm yes. thinking Kylo is going to do a five straight. 
I almost hope Carlo does a fire strike. We saw the barrel roll. Yep. And the question is, what's Kylo done? The thing is, if Kylo does a five straight, he's getting destroyed by Callus. Um, no, Callus has... He has a Kalos target had... lock. I didn't pass it to Jake. I said it wasn't Jake. Nope. Ooh, that's a fast straight. That's that's at least I think it's I think his best move. He might have actually do dodged the arc. Now, sorry guys, I'm moving the camera there because I am. Yep, this is this is out of arc. He's only going to be taking a shot from Dutch. Not sure if he's out of arc. He, it's very close. Uh, after so after my last call, go. I don't want to say it's out. Uh, I think it's out. Oh, I no. think it's out. I think it's out. Fonreg, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, this is okay. He can barrel roll out and then boost strike. He, he, he's yeah, but he's not getting shot. shots. He, well, he needs to. So he, need, he needs to keep that rebel committing. He needs to keep guns on target. And could you also remove that, that um, crit dice from uh, the dice box for me, please? You know, the one that, that, that Kylo rolled. Wait, did Kylo roll a second crit? Oh, we missed it. Oh, and I was looking. He yes, actually he did. Two crit. Oh my so, god. So shout out to the MVP of the game, that debris field. <laughs> oh. it, has dealt, he, it has dealt more damage than either players and equal damage to both players combined. No, no, don't forget you're missing the damage that's been done to the Wild Wing. But yeah, he has done he has done two damage to Kylo. Yeah, it has done two damage to Kylo. It it is. Oof. Harsh. Yeah. And, yeah. Is he going to do a Daredevil boost here? Get he can't. He's the declared the barrel roll. No, no, he's still got his regular action, though. Yes, but he's declared the barrel roll to the left. Ugh. This is dangerous. Are you doing... And he makes it. He makes it. Now, it looks like he's going to have a hard one there next turn. And he has a range one there on Alex. No mods, so Alex won't get his, um, uh, won't get his extra green. Two crits, which he's only going to do one because I think he took a reinforce. If I saw that correctly, yes. is that correct? Yep. He's reinforced. Yeah, yeah he's reinforced. He's losing another shield. Yep. Now, Kylo, I think he's going to get a shot because it is a uh, large base ship. Yep. And he gets range one there on Kylo. Whoa. Oh, man. I think he just think... leaves a one. Save your force. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's he... one guaranteed damage. That's you it. need to spend both force to get an additional damage through. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Because if you spend one force, then uh, then you would have two damage. We got reinforced, which brings it down to one. So that that is why. Yeah, you just you don't you don't spend it. So this is one that's going to hurt. A dodge range one. I wonder Three if dice. Kylo can show a debris field the dark side. <laughs> <laughs> He's going in Kyle, yeah. Range one. Spend the lock. Just That's the two. Funny. That's got to hate it when that happens. Can he half point Kylo here? He only needs. Oh, he half points there Kylo. There we go. He got half point. That's all he needed. But that that is because the debris field did more damage than the double modded range one shot. Yeah. That is a rough start to Taco. Oh, do you just 4K here with the ghost? 
That's the obvious move. Both ships and... are stressed. <laughs> uh, I would quite possibly see that as the option, yeah. Because also the thing is, um, Bonweg only has really one safe move doing oh, a hard one. Anything yeah. else is going to go over the gas cloud. Or maybe maybe a three bank, two bank. All, all ships are stressed. All ships yeah. on Taco's side are stressed. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. He's got layer. He's got layer. I know. Wait, is the ghost stressed? No. No, it is not. No. All of Taco's ships are stressed only, and um, only, Pog only Dodge. Vendor. Uh, yeah. yeah I, I, only I, Pog. I need the Pog. I need the Pog. I need the Pog. The thing is that Yellow Tire Silencer is in a place where he can block the 4K from the Ghost. A two turn focus boost will block a 4K. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think you so. risk it here. If he doesn't block it, he's in such a good position. Now, he needs to kill Vander. So he needs to kill the Pog. Or he needs to half points Alex and half points the Pog. Yeah. Just Without that, losing that, half points on any other ship. Yeah, just for that one damage he took, because he decided he would roll too quick going over the debris field. Oh, man, yeah. I feel sorry for him. Um, I don't. It's Kylo. Yeah, yeah I mean, Kylo deserves it. He does, he does. He, he deserves it less than the A-Wings, but he does deserve it. Oh, no, 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 no. This is where I, I disagree with you totally. Kylo, nope. Kylo absolutely deserves it. Chat, who whose side are you on here? Does Kylo deserve it? Do the do the A wings deserve it more? No. Gar has a force and three greens, and just literally will do will 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 evade everything. You get a bump on him and you shoot him and shoot him, and you won't do damage. It's like Darth Vader. Three agility with a force is terrible. Equally evil. There we go. And so there we go. And look, hey, five A wings versus one Kylo. That means Kylo is five times as bad as an A wing. So there we go. He agrees with me. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. Kyla had a sad he, he, childhood. Do do agree. Do agree. Um, Dur Durval, I, I disagree with that. What, Mostly because Kylo Kylo can only is only usually eighty points. Five A wings is two hundred points. Well, at, le at the very least, you will agree that Kylo is twice as bad as an A-Wing, then, if Kylo is 80 points. Yes. Yes, I will. I, I will okay. agree that okay. he is okay. as bad as so, a single A-Wing. There you go. Okay. Oh. I mean, do do you predict this if you're no, Andy no, here? And just one do a straight. three straight and take the... Yeah, two, a one, two, one two, straight, two straight... Just take the range one shot, pass off a target lock. Well, I think oh, the problem is it's very, very close for yeah, one straight. Oh, he does a one straight. This could mean that he's just going to take the target lock. No, he can take a focus and then he'll coordinate a target lock with Dutch from Alex and then he'll just self bump into the Dutch. Why wouldn't he take a target lock here with Dutch, coordinate Ale uh, Jake to take a barrel roll? Pass it off to Alex and then bump into Dutch. Because 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 Jake doesn't have anywhere to go. He can barrel to the uh, ship right. Yeah, but he won't be able to pass on the focus. I think he'll be out of range. Excuse me, out of the range. To line. to Jake's ship right. Hold on, Jake. No, he okay. He he passed on it. Yeah, Alex. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, what what are you on about? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Dutch took the target lock there. Yeah. So this means that the ghost is probably just doing one strike. Um. I I mean, even if he's attempted the four K, he just takes the stress and bumps into Dutch. Um. I I don't see a downside here. It just means he'll be stressed. That's all. No, lay lay is activated. Oh, he did pop layer. Yep, he did. I apologize. Yeah, then okay, then yeah, then the the four K is coming. So what's this? Is he rotating the turret? No. I saw him moving the turret there on the ship. Yeah, I he it, picks it up it, a okay. lot. He doesn't actually have a turret, so it's okay. No. And yep, Jake's gonna barrel roll to sh 
Oh, barrel ship left. Yeah. Ooh. He's going to do a hard one. Yeah. Question is, who got the focus from the, the, the barrel? Unless he's forgotten it. I think he's forgotten it. Yeah, he's, he's forgotten it. He's taken a focus. There we go. Okay. Didn't remind him. And as I paranoidly one, yeah. check check the Discord, yes, Cosmic Bot is muted. <laughs> <laughs> so now you could potentially boost to the right. I, it, won't it, it won't fit. It won't fit. fit. Uh, yeah, no, no, that okay. I can't see underneath the ghost. Let's put that back over fit. here, guys. It's really unfortunately with the ghost is one chip. As much as it's interesting to watch. It is really hard to stream because it covers all the arcs. Yeah, it does. He, he is attempting it. Oh, yeah, no, it does fit. It does fit. fit. There you go. It did fit. I, I do know a thing or two. Uh, my, my eyes are out. But now Callus has I see a a potentially there, range one double modded shot. So Kyle actually overlapped the, the gas... Clouds, yeah, uh, Kylo's, Kylo's sad. He's again. not getting actions at all. And yeah, Von Rag just... One. Yeah, Von Rag just takes that, I think. Yeah, the hard one. Takes a focus. Target lock focus, maybe. I'm bringing that back in there, yep. There yeah, target lock focus. I've lost a few of my camera saves, so I'm just trying to get the top-down view there. It's really hard. To, unfortunately, it's just that it's just that guy's too big. So he has a chance now to get get some damage through. Yeah, the the shuttle is un unreinforced. Yeah, does have the reroll. The lock. Three hits. Three. And he did mod, so. He does get to reroll, and no. doesn't matter. That's what we want. Three, three damage there for on, uh, on Alex. That is not half points on the ghost. No, One away. Needs... One more. No, it's four shields. So he's only done five, six. It's he got fourteen hull. Seven uh, points is half. Yeah, he needs two more. He needs two more damage. Yeah, range double one, modded. double modded. Oh, who needs it? It was double modded, so it's not that far out of expectancy. Yeah. But uh, hey, yeah, two, two, still, two. still shielded. Does have the focus though. Is range two. So it's another shield down. Is he going to get another half points? Just needs one more damage. Does have the target lock. Does he have a focus too? He does because on the boost. Takes the focus. Oh, that's, that's a crit. That is a crit. Oh, that he is a dead. Oh, that is no. a dead. Silencer. Sad silencer noises. How does how how Look. does that sad silencer sound? Oh, that's rough. That's rough. He needed that to yeah. get um, to get half points on Dutch. And, but that's also put him so far behind behind on points. Um, yeah, I will need you to update the yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't put the I didn't overlay. Put points. There we go. Yeah, ninety-one points. So he needs to he needs to kill Borg and get half on Alex with ten minutes. And this is actually where his pace of play. Has really, um, how to say, it's impacted him now. Now he does not have enough time. He does not have enough time to recover. And if he can, not, not only that, he can do a 4K here. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost is not stressed. Ah, <laughs> uh, he could do a 4K. I mean, why I not? Gonna, I think I think he's going to do a turn if anything. Why? Because yeah, he lost Carlo. The problem is he's lost half points on Carlo. That's where the biggest problem is. He yeah, lost half but points on Carlo and... Um... 
Taco here is so far behind, he needs to choose violence. Yeah. Well, I think I think Kylo's going to do a hard one in. Yeah. Nope, Jake clears stress. I would I would take the barrel roll with Jake, see if he's in range one of Callus. If not Uh that is true, that is true. This is not this is not a regular uh exhibition game guys. This is for the league where MOV does matter, as TMT has pointed out. So you do want you don't want just to have the victory. You want as much MOV as possible. You you want complete annihilation. You want to crush your enemies. Destroy yeah. them. Full destruction. Even if no 12s got thrown. Just return that to one. There we go. Uh, coordinate is range 1 to 2, it's not range 0, correct, Nobby? Yeah, uh, it is range 1 to 2. Yeah, so oh, he cannot coordinate Dutch. Hold on, I can double check for you. Give me one sec. It's normally, actually 0 to 2 could be the case. I think it's 0 to 2. But it's for coordinate. Uh... Ask them to pause time because this is an important distinction. Uh, no, it must be one to two. One to two, correct. Yeah. There's no zero, so you cannot uh, you cannot coordinate a ship at range uh, zero. Which is actually it reminds me too that it's the same as. Uh, do you know swarm tactics? Yes. Well, it's another reason why I used to love it. My my first tournament was a swarm tactics based rebel squad list. But you could not swarm tactics a ship at range zero. So if you had bumped the ship, you couldn't swarm tactic anymore. Just a little bit of trivia for you. There's a 4K anyway. Yeah. It's 4King as well. in the unfortunate position of having to choose violence yeah but uh, now keep in mind both those ships don't have mods I, yes that is true um, but because of the, the situation there so he might be able to get some damage and he needs to get two more Alex and then he also needs to kill yeah. uh, the pork he could yes do it. He but could he do also it. needs to not take any more damage well he needs to not lose another ship each barrel okay barrel straight yep that fits yeah gotta get out of that arc i would have i would have just liked to take focus because they're wearing the fun reggers he's going to be shot at yeah but he could boost and get out of the ghost's arc potentially oh, yeah i just i think he's taking too long to to trade he needs to take risks now yeah. This is actually this is the this is the best time because both those shots are going to be on modified. So you've got a two dice of range three, if he hadn't gone so fast. Yeah, and that's what I mean. He's out of Callus's range, so. Yeah. But again, he the, yeah. there's only going to be one more turn. Did he? Did he? What did he take? Uh, is he did a boost. Did he take target anything? Target lock boot. He boost. He took target lock. What did he take? The strain. He took a strain. Okay. Yeah. So he took a strain for that, so he's going to have a th uh, four dice with lock versus yep. one green. So he could get lucky. He could get lucky, get a crit going off. Nope. Or he could be just really unlucky like that. And is he going to spend the lock? Nope. He's not spending. I think he should have. I think he needs to get damage. I just want to confirm that because it is. Yeah. Okay. He is, okay. That was brought up by Andy as well, which is a really yeah. good sportsmanship. Yeah. Does oh, evade. One damage. Hey, well, look, at least he got half points. Yeah. This is an obstructed range 
three shot at Agent Callus. So it will be two dice, maybe three dice. I'm just trying to grab the overlay again. Where is it? Oh, is he gonna is he gonna spend the force? He's gonna spend both force. We'll lean that's, into Callus is gonna be rolling two greens. That's th three green dice. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's obstructed at range three. Very good. Damage, yep. Okay. Now, this is interesting. So, oh, I think he still needs to go for. How many points is he down? He's he is down 30, 25 points. So no, he just he just needs to kill. He just needs to kill the poor. He can still win it. Yeah. If if he I mean, is able I, to kill the pork next turn without I, losing I, points this turn, I the player can still win it. So it is three dice versus two dice. Does only that's get one. one hit. Two dice because he took the strain for the lock. Does Hang evade. I mean, that's what it needed. That's what it needed. And um, did 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 Jake have a shot? Don't believe Jake has a shot. It could just be out. It is. Oh, and it just goes to show that just that one blank kick and really swing a. You can really swing the game. Yeah, just out. Thirty points. Twenty-five points. Which is twenty-five points difference right now. Um, Andy has a lead of twenty-five points. Now, just for clarification, if that uh, silencer did not die. Andy would still be one point up ahead. Because the silence is worth 48 points, so half points is 24. So he would still actually actually have a lead, even with the blank out. Still there, Odin? Yeah, sorry, I'm just okay. sorting out a future stream game. Awesome. Just had to quickly check Discord there, because... Yep, nope, I'm still here. Just would have been good. distracted. Yeah, all good, all good. Um, will we... This is going to be last turn. Very last turn. It. These are the games that are absolutely amazing to watch. So I think right now, though, currently I'm going to call it that debris in the center is MVP. Yep. Now, if you've got two ships shooting and you need to kill something, he has to commit to Paul. He has to commit to Dutch, to the Huawei. With that information, one force on Carlo. What's he do? Does he risk going over that uh, debris field, you know, for the third time? Yep. To go for a good shot at Dutch? He does not have Leia. Not have Leia. Cannot coordinate the. Uh, the Y wing. The Y wing. Yeah. So here's my logic: is if he does like a three bank over the, the debris field, he'll be able to get a good shot on that Y wing with a single force. Possibly, like if he does a three bank, he might get a range one, even if he bombs or not. Yeah. The question's going to be: is what can Von Reg do. Oh, we, we are seeing the legendary Von Reg ability going off. Passing ah. a deplete to Dutch. There you go. Which he's going to do a blue move anyway. Yeah. <laughs> he actually could have done another turn before, I think, when he had the shot on another ghost. Yeah. Now Callus is just going one forward. Um, He does have a rear arc, so he will potentially still get a shot. Oh, that is true, yeah, because uh, Zeb is still on there in the shuttle. So, I, I have a question for you, Nobby. Do you yep. think the ghost would be overpowered if it got the text? It also gains the pilot ability of the docked ship. Yeah, it would, you would still have to start pricing it accordingly. 
I mean, you would just, just you would start five, pricing just... up the um, what do you call it? The shuttles up. I don't think you would price the ghost up. Well, no. The other thing is, it's the AP five ability. Yeah. You know. And that and is then, time. And there's also, and there's also Zebra's ability too. I think in the in the attack shuttle, because you got yeah. you got to watch out for just also the attack shuttle as well. Sabine, how hey, you get a Sabine? So, if, if you imagine if you had Sabine, oh, that's in the in the attack shuttle. You dock the the attack shuttle in the Ghost, it'd be broken. I, I as I said, I was just asking. I was curious. Yeah. No. Oh, I think he hasn't oh, no. set his dial. Oh no. Oh, that's just de that's default two straight. That is a default two straight. I don't think that's what he had planned. Oh. Yeah, it is up to Andy to do, but yeah, two straight is. It looks like Andy's letting him change it. Yeah. Not, not nice. Sportsmanship all around. Yeah, but to be honest, I reckon that the two straight is what he wants anyway. He needs to shoot Dutch. Uh, possibly, he shoot, but he, he also doesn't Dutch. want to suffer another crit on Kylo. But another crit one, well, he won't die. Uh, weapons failure though. It doesn't matter. <laughs> he needs to shoot Dutch. I he mean, actually he needs to shoot Dutch. Could potentially. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that at all. He's going for the kill on Callus. I oh. is, is he? He's going to take a strain. That dead devil does not fit. Yeah, the thing is, I'm just um, moving that in there so you can see what's happening at the back there. Uh, I think a one I bank think, boost will fit though. A one bank boost will fit. Yeah, I think Taco may have not realised that um, the easier target of the Y wing was the target he should be going for. Yeah, yeah. But hey, if you do kill Alex's turn, yeah. Um, hey, that means, Alex um, is reinforced to the rear, however. Yeah. So he's he's taken a, a strain. He took a strain. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So he's he's playing to the dice gods here. I think now he has to shoot Callus, and it could be good because if he can get if he can get Callus off the board with this with this attack, you do kill him. This is an unmodded. Just one. Just one. So I believe without an insane crit chain. It is impossible for Kylo to kill Callus. He just needs a direct hit. He needs a direct hit. Oh no, eight, eight, advanced proton torps. Yeah. Oh no. Uh, spend the lock on the four, I think. You've only got one force. Yep. Oh no. That is, that is a sad advanced proton torp. Sad silence noises. Does get one crit That's in. Two crits. So, well, you, could you see a few leaking? Oh, uh, no, two crits. It? it is two crits. It is two crits. Not gonna be enough. And hull breach. So, what was the first crit? Uh, loose stabilizer and hull breach. Oh, thank you. Did this is a range one shot back. Oh, salt into the wound. That's rough. MVP does matter. That is three crits. That is a dead Kylo. It's that is a direct on the first hit. One, two. Oh. Into a fuel leak. <laughs> yeah. And that means an extra damage. Damage oh. engine, yeah. And so how did the seeing... um, how did the sad tie silence noises go again? <laughs> and this is true damage on Von Reg. 
MOV, oh. MOV matters. Wow. What a, what a swing that last turn. Oh, wait. Nope. He does have one extra attack dice. Nope. I want extra green. So, half points on Von Rake. Wow. Let's let's drag them in. Absolutely. Uh, there they are. Nope, nope, not that one. There we go. Welcome back, guys. Bad Thai silencer noises. Yeah. Oh, the the first one, the that just popped, and then Kylo. Ouch. Yeah. yeah. I, I have nothing to say. Sad <laughs> Thai silencer noises. Yeah, and then Jake right at the end as well. Yeah. Just should not have done that. Nope. Should not have done that. Um, just as an aside, Von Reg does have strain, so he would not have got that extra dice as well, just looking at it. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah that's true. Yeah. For yeah. some reason, no. that's not... You were correct the first time. Um... Just big, big oofs, sad tie silence noises. Um, Taco, what what did you, what what are your thoughts on the game other than? I mean, it's it's uh, it was it, I I I played badly. That's uh, my silencer was the one the that uh, dust. messed up. So yeah, nothing much to say. <laughs> Poor dude. I I do have uh, one question. Yeah. Sorry, I ha I have one question. Who put that uh? MVP debris field down in the center there. This one? Of course that's yeah. Me. That was you. Okay. Oh no. <laughs> that was that, that that debris field was the rebel MVP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You all you two crits off it. Yep. That was uh, fantastic there. Was now I could ask you, was that was that a missile on that going over the debris field with the three uh, bank? Yeah, I wanted to do a three straight. Three straight, yeah, no okay. I was saying some, I was saying something akin to that in the in in there, and I thought I thought that's what it was. Mm -hmm. I think a three straight uh, focus boost or something would you take him the yeah. same angle? Yep. Yeah, but it happens. So yeah, yeah I mean I, I I screwed it up. Yeah, it's all good. No, we all have games like that. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, we we all I, they all do. Simple as that. I think um, you played really well. Um, just trying to bait me and get me to chase you so i think that was really well it was just yeah the that shot against the first tie silence i feel like yeah. it shouldn't have wiped him out there and then... um the the other side of it is i feel like you were just one turn behind um yeah. if you were one like one space ahead for most of that game um andy following the initial tie silencer into that corner of the board if you were just that little bit closer to capitalize on it it may have been a right um completely different game as well no no it's, it's good like uh, andy also like uh, you know he forced me to disengage because i got a 44 die shot uh, yeah, yeah that was good. <laughs> and and the con the coordination from uh the that was fantastic so many extra actions very nice mm. oh yeah Oh, yeah, yeah. It's it, it, you, you got one action. Every action, every time we got an action, he got two actions because of Dutch yeah. and Jake. It's fantastic. Um, I loved yeah. it. It's so dirty. I oh, fantastic. yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, no. It's really yeah, good. It's pretty good. Cool. Yeah, he uh, just would, he would, didn't let let you attack that like not that he had of uh, having those ships all together. He had to play super KG. Yeah, I guess it was it was really interesting to see that early play. Like we didn't see a shot fired till like thirty five minutes. Twenty five minutes in, minutes. yeah. Yeah, yeah, forty minutes in, and it was just because you're you're you're, you're both playing really well. I mean, I, I know it's something it can sound boring, like they, sometimes people think. But if you when you understand the game and understand what they're doing, they're not just going straight in and shooting each other. Mm -hmm. They're literally they're 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 doing mind games against each other, trying to get each, each other to commit. Um, and so it was really interesting to see that like that 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 the first play, uh, the opening engagements that you had. Uh, up until up until we saw the three bank on on that on that big foot, and I was pretty sure that was just a simple um, uh, missed dial. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's uh you know I gotta learn uh, what the, what a three bank does. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but no, no, it was, no, uh, no, it, no, it was actually one. very not... exciting uh, near the end, uh, trying to uh, trying to catch up. So you know it was good. Uh, Andy had like really you kept your formation. It was very nice, and uh, the locks and double mods. 
Uh, it, you, you, you raise stuff when you have a five dice, double mod it. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of fun, but yeah, um, I think you can start pulling apart the ships. Like, if you were to get Dutch off earlier, um, once you lose one of the ships, you sort of start losing all the fun and right, it right, becomes right. much less yeah. efficient. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. It's typical, typical Rebels. Once, once you break their synergy, right. it kind of falls apart, you know? You just don't get as much value out of it uh, mm. anymore. So, yeah, but what, you know, as a, as unit as a whole, they're really, really strong. That, um, as someone said, the Rebels aren't, uh, they're, they're not, uh, any one particular ship is great. It's just the fact that they all come together. And, no, um, it's, it's really, really nice, you know, like when, yeah. you, when you see it come together, it's, it's really beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Would would you would this is this enough to potentially convert you from the FO? You know, I want to see the next like squadron pack that they have for rebels. I really want to see what kind of ships they can, you know, what kind of pilots they can have to have some um, synergy. I mean, the rebels have been around for so long. It's like you know, I, I've seen uh, different like synergies come together back and forth, and so. Like I want, I want to, I want to try with new pilots, and I would love to do that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wherever yeah. that may come. <laughs> now, again, um, we do have another match coming up in twenty minutes, and we will need to jump off and start preparing that. Yep. Thank um, you closing f- thoughts, any shout outs, and then Andy, we need to know where to find you tomorrow, and we can get you to talk a bit, a bit more about the pork stream for the last minute or two. Um, yeah, I guess, uh, maybe shout out to, to Jared or Deadly Pork, um, for the paint jobs on the ships, because they're pretty sweet. And all of our, like, art and stuff, he does all that. Um, and then, yeah, tomorrow night, I think it's, uh, what is it? Uh, seven o'clock, um, Singapore time, we're streaming, um, Streaming one of the Singapore League games, and before that, we've got another another game at uh, Twitch. TV, Pork Republic. Yep, I will chuck another link into that in just a second. I, I just noticed uh, too that Jake is actually called Pog Fart. Uh, Pog Fart. <laughs> yeah, uh, I nice. just noticed that. I just noticed. I saw the um the K O P R on the ghost, and I loved it. But I just noticed that Jake also has a little Pog name there as well. Oh. They're lovely. The ship is uh, so cute. Dang. It is. It is. So um, link for anyone who wants notifications for the next game. Yep. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, Thanks for having us. I'll, I'll bring up that schedule there. Okay. And uh, that's what's looking up for the for the rest of the week. Uh, so tune right. in for 9 o'clock. Well, 9 o'clock is uh, Queensland time. 10 o'clock uh, Sydney, New South Wales time, or 7 o'clock Singapore time. Um, but in the next 15 minutes, we'll have um, game two of the Singapore League, different pod. Um, so stick around, and we'll also have different commentators too. So we'll be back shortly, guys. Yep.